How many of you guys remember these old, realistic walkie-talkies? Yeah, these were pretty fun, weren't they? All right, let's take a look at the realistic TRC-101B. Let's take a look at this old girl here. So basically, this is a, a full-featured 23-channel, 5-watt walkie-talkie. 23 channels, 23 plus 5 was how they were marketing this. And I've actually seen one of these versions that actually said 23 plus 5, like right in here somewhere. But uh, yeah, so it has a high and low power output switch, separate speaker, an electric condenser microphone. The battery slash RF meter does have a built-in mechanical filter, adjustable squelch, center-loaded antenna, fine-tuning control. You know, Delta Tune, whatever you want to call it. Um, automatic noise limiter, and that's kicked in all the time. And it will run off uh, 10 AA batteries. Also, kind of a cool thing with this walkie-talkie, too. These, were, these are dual conversion. And so they have really good sensitivity but they're nice and quiet as well you know not not a lot of background hash and noise and when you use them on the antenna that comes with it um, which this one is mint i mean it is perfect um and quite long um i actually don't know a length on that but i'll measure and i'll put it in the description box but uh it's a good oh three feet long i would imagine anyway so you could you could uh not have so much static and interference come in and you could pull people out of the out of the background you know out of the noise and stuff so they're kind of cool nice speaker here gets pretty loud there's where our little electret mic is and of course our battery uh, monitor uh, RF uh, meter and then high low output power and the fine tune control here's our push to talk on the top here we have the mini phono input jack for the microphone and um, the headphones we have volume and squelch control on this side here we have the little earphone jack for the external antenna and then the uh, jack for the power supply and or charger and um, when you use this in the charge mode you want to make sure you had nickel cadmium batteries this particular piece is missing the strap and the original owner wrote on the back there but it's not too bad that could be taken care of and of course the label maker used heavily back in the day and i i actually like that i'm not going to peel it off it'll leave uh adhesive back there and i just don't want to damage it i, I kind of like that for just that old school look this can be found in the uh 1975 radio shack catalog these suckers went for hundred and forty nine dollars. That was some uh, that was some bucks for a handheld back then. All right, well let's check out the performance. Okay, so I live out in the country, and so there's really not much CB action going on, especially right now. I just took a little dial around the band here with the uh, factory antenna. So uh, I have an external ground plane hooked into this and we're going to do a power check on this as well. See what this thing's putting out power wise. But let's go through the receiver first. Let's turn her on. And we have 1 through 23. Normally on some radios back in the day they had the PA located right here. We don't have that function. That function is a battery test function on this. Batteries are not quite as hot as they used to be. I've got some. I got ten Duracells in here, and they've been in here a good year and a half or so. And I have been using this, so they're not quite as hot as they used to be. So we'll see how that RF power check goes. Anyway, we'll just go through the channels. That's our trucker's way out there. Picking up some birdies from my computer here. And my wife. Yeah, right here in front of me, I'll just plug you down where you're going to be down with your car. And you fucking sweet old dick over there and figure it out. 
Look how nice and quiet that is. Just nice. Little birdie. Little birdie told me. Battery check. And because this is Breaker Broke 23, we're going to stay on 23. All right. Got the little quad five on there for a receiver, so let's get a little audio check here. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Hello, one, two, hello, one, two, one, two, electric mic. Okay, it's got a good sound to it. I'll try that again with the volume down a little bit more. Hello, one, two, hello, one, two, one, two, TRC 101B. Well, that's pretty good. All right, well. Let's see what kind of power this thing puts out. So, I'll put it on low first. The only thing I have is a 100 watt slug for the bird. So we're gonna read the bottom scale, and this first notch here will be two watts, then four, six, eight, ten, and then up to where we'll never use it. So let's see what low power will give us. Low power's uh, just about a watt. Give a little bit of modulation here. Hello, radio one two one two. That goes up a little bit. All right. We are going to put the radio on high power mode now. And there's two watts. One two. So two with a. RMS of about three. Now this radio was rated at five watts, if you remember. But um, you know, I've got uh, low batteries, and this radio is, uh, you know, vintage 1974, 1975. So yeah, there's going to be a issue here. All right, let's put it in peak reading here and get some feel good watts readings here. Yo, one, two, hello, <whistles> hello radio. So uh, there's uh, six watts. And uh, if we just do uh, just audio here, like one, two, three, four, five, so it'll easily hit that five watt mark. Not a problem. That's on high. Let's go down to low and see what low does. All right, one, two, low radio, one, two. There you go. Battery saver mode. So uh, you know about two, three watts. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Now. I'm not really sure, you know, this isn't a very scientific power measurement here. I am going through uh, the uh, earphone, the earphone jack into an RCA, into a BNC, an unmarked unknown patch cord to a BNC, to 259 converter. And into uh, three feet of patch go cord going into the bird. So I don't know. Could be a little loss there. But anyway, relatively, it does put out power. Um, I have stood out in my backyard and talked a little over eight miles, possibly eight and a half miles to the east of me. And I have made it into town to the west of me, and that was around nine miles standing out in my backyard talking to a base station so anyway there you go guys the realistic TRC 101B I'm trying to think here have I forgot anything you know I really wanted to go over that dual conversion receiver thing because that's just really really nice to have it a walkie-talkie like this they're just not static monsters and you could really you can really pick a signal out of the woodwork with this thing so that's pretty much it Anyway, did you have one of these back in the day? If you did, what did you use it for? Do you s still use the one you have now, if you have one? Um, yeah, let's let's have a little conversation about this. Let's uh, leave comments down below. I'd appreciate that. Um, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if uh, you think it didn't really suck. And stay tuned because I got a bunch more walkie-talkies. And realistics were kind of my thing. Um, you know, when I was, when I was a kid, this was, 
This was this was the bomb right here to have one of those, man. You were you were strapping, and then when the 40 channel version came out, wow, that was it. And I have one of those as well, so I'll dig one of those out. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Oh,